Hello everyone and welcome to Marcus Bayer, episode 3. At the end of episode 2, Denise had just gone to bed because it really genuinely was nearly midnight. Goodness knows why I even answered him at that time, but I did. Good morning, Denise, he said the following morning. Good morning, I'm just waiting for my son and his boys to arrive. Because by now, it was Saturday morning and of course, Denise's son and her grandsons always come on Saturday morning. OK, you can send your email now. I hope you had a good sleep. I'm going to sleep some more. I'm up now, he said a few hours later. I hope your kids' visit went well. Hello, yes, they bought some lovely pork pies with them from the butcher in Gottleming. Ian did some painting in the downstairs cloakroom for me. Ian's my son. Oh, nice. Can I have a photo? What on earth are you talking about? Why do you want a photograph of the ceiling? I just wanted to see how nice it looks. And of course the scammers do this because they're trying to work out whether you're real or not. And they're just trying to get you to send instant photographs. And if the person that you're talking to online starts asking you for photos of random things you've told them that you're doing, just think very carefully about who you may be talking to. A ceiling. If you give me your address, I'll take a photograph of it and send it to you. I'll have to ask Benji to print it out for me. Everything doesn't have to be physical. You can use your phone to take photos. It can be digital. No, I can't, said Denise. I don't have one of those mobile phones. I have one of them digital cameras. I'm sure I told you that. Benji, my grandson, prints my photos for me. What are you chatting with? An iPad? Anyway, I'm sure you know what a white ceiling looks like. Yes, I do. Yes, I've got an iPad. My daughter bought it for me for Christmas just over a year ago. You can take a photo with it too. I can teach you. Or you can tell someone around you how to take photos with an iPad. Because I'd love a photo of you sometime. How can I tell someone around me how to take photos with an iPad? I've no idea how to do it. I can't tell someone else how to do it. OK, you can even send photos here on Facebook. Should I show you? You can have a photo. Give me your address. And I'll post one. So he sent a screenshot from his iPhone, which, of course, looks nothing like the screen of Denise's iPad. I know, because I went and got my iPad just to look to see what Denise would be seeing. See where I circled red? If you tap on it, you can take a digital photo and hit send to forward it to me. Try it. Look around your screen. You'll see it. It's a camera icon. Mine doesn't look anything like that. I don't understand why you won't give me your address and I can post some to you. Although I really don't know why you want a photograph of a white ceiling. That has to be one of the daftest things you've said. Hello, well, can you make a screenshot? I don't know what you mean. I can ask Benji when he comes next weekend. If you tell me what you want, I'll ask him to show me. But please tell me why you won't give me your address. I would if I want something from you physically. These digital photos aren't that hard to take. It saves time. OK, tell me what you want and I'll ask Benji to do it next weekend. Tell him to teach you how to take and send a digital photo with your phone stroke iPad. I'm not sure I'm going to explain to him that you want a photo of my ceiling, but I'll try. No, it's not about the ceiling. It can be of anything. I want you just to learn it. But you said you wanted a photo of my ceiling. Now you're confusing me. I wanted to see how the painting looked, though. Oh, FGS, it's white paint on the ceiling. What on earth are you expecting? OK, white. You're sounding like a little kid. I thought it was colourful. LOL, he said. I told you it was white. You'd be asking for a photo of a paintbrush next on my washing up bowl. He said some laughing faces. No way. Do you have any icons on your screen? Tell me how they look like. I don't know what you mean. Are you deliberately trying to confuse me? Or are you still on about getting a photo of a flipping ceiling? If you really want to know what a ceiling looks like, try lying down on the floor and looking straight up. There should be one like a camera, one like a picture, and one like a microphone to record a voice note. Oh, stop going on about the camera and the ceiling. It's not about that. Lie down on the floor, look up and you'll see what a ceiling looks like. I'm trying to teach you how to take a photo with your iPad. Just give me a list of what you want me to do and I'll ask Benji to show me. You're just stressing me and I don't like it. It's not stressful. Take your time and open your heart to learn new things. I want you to tell Benji to teach you how to use your photo to take pictures. It could be pictures of anything. All phones have inbuilt cameras too. Just learn it for your own good. 
How many times do I have to tell you I don't have a mobile phone? I guess I'll have to tell you at least half a dozen times. Your iPad serves the same purpose as a mobile phone, Denise. Don't be daft. I can't make phone calls on my iPad. Why don't you have a mobile phone? You don't like it, he asked. Because I don't want one. I see. You can make calls on it, he said, in reply to her saying, don't be daft, I can't make phone calls on my iPad. Just say you don't know how. No, I can't, said Denise. OK, I can call you on Facebook. Do you use Google? he asked. But that's Facebook. It isn't a phone call, is it? I use Google to search for things, yes? OK, ask Google if iPads make calls and take photos. It'll tell you, yes, they do. If I was with you, I'll teach you. I'm a tech head. I had to learn, though. Well, I've no idea what you're talking about. Why can't you just call me on here if you want to call? You managed it last night, or are you deliberately trying to confuse me? No, I'm letting you know stuffs you might not know. Well, it's stuffs I don't want to know. I have a phone on the wall in my hall. Remember, we're not in the 1970s anymore. A lot have evolved, Denise. I'm sure it has, but I don't see how it's any of your business to tell me how to run my life. Chill! I'm not doing that. It's you that needs to chill and stop trying to bully me into doing something I don't understand. Either give me your address or type out what you want me to ask Betty. I'm only telling you easier ways to do things now. No, you're persistently trying to push me into doing something I've clearly told you I don't want to do. And ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that sometimes that's one of the lessons that my girls can teach. If somebody's trying to push you into doing something, you don't have to give in. You can say no. Why don't you be like Benji and not have Benji do everything for you? He said. What an idiotic, stupid thing to say. Benji's a 14-year-old boy. I'm a 75-year-old lady. I know. Even you must know the difference. Now please stop persistently trying to bully me into doing something I don't want to do. Technology got nothing to do with age. Or are you a narcissistic bully and control freak? I'm not bullying you, lol. I'm not. Yes, you are, and it isn't funny. Life is easier, and I want it easier for you. I care. Either give me your address or type out what you want me to ask Benji. OK, then. Good, because I really don't want to have to say it six times. I like you. Do you know that? He said, if you say so. And then he thought he'd break out one of those lists of questions that all scammers have. And so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Do you exercise regularly? What? I go for walks on the downs at the top of the road when the weather's nice. Good. It's a bit muddy up there right now. OK, I like that. Are you considerate and thoughtful of others? No, I couldn't care less about anyone else. Hello, oh, well, Savage, he said. When you think about it, they are just ridiculous questions, aren't they? Because there's two answers. Yes, I am. Or as she said, no, I'm not. Except, of course, that he didn't accept that. Do you treat others as you would like to be treated? Of course not. Question mark, he added. OK, try. No, I don't. I see. How often do you lose your temper? At least six times a day and ten times on a Sunday. I noticed you'll blow up so fast, he said, with some laughing faces, trying to keep her cool. How often do you think before asking stupid, idiotic questions, replied Denise, or are you just working your way down a list of stupid questions to ask someone you met online? I'm trying to know you, actually, he said, by asking idiotic questions. That, by the way, you haven't answered for yourself. Five years at Oxford, and that's really the best you can do. What do you do for fun and when you're alone? Underwater yogic chairlifting and international stitch counting. Hmm, he said, and I'm not answering any more questions until you've answered all the questions you asked me. I am considerate. I treat others how I would love to be treated. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen, because Denise did. I rarely lose my temper. And I read, watch series, movies, listen to music and love watching football. So you want others to refuse to answer your questions, give you ridiculous answers to avoid answering. OK, I see. To which our man replied, yeah. Can I ask? You keep asking. Do you have any pets? Are you a pet lover? Oh, back to the list. No and no. I want to know. What list? That list of questions. 
I just told you. No, and no. If I don't ask questions, how would I know you better? I don't live with you. That's true, you don't. You haven't told me if you're a pet lover or if you have any pets. I'm a pet lover and I have two dogs. I love dogs and cats. Who's looking after them? My boy, Junior. I named him after me in case you didn't know. Oh, OK. I don't think I asked his name. Yeah. Anything you want to know? I want to know if you're patient and romantic because I am. Neither, said Denise. And he sent a photograph of a man with two dogs. Here it is. I've blurred out the man, but I've left the dogs. I don't know what kind of dogs those are. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell us. I love unconditionally, by the way, he said underneath my two dogs. Goodness, they're large. What breed are they? They're both chow chow, he said. Oh, really? Yes. He said, OK. How often do you go out, Denise? Well, given his due, at least he didn't ask her if she parted and flirted and drank all the time, or whatever it is they usually ask. What do you mean? Went into town yesterday to do my shopping. I had lunch with my friend Barbara on Thursday. I told you all that. I go out when I'm bored of being indoors. I go out not too much, though. What's your favourite food when dining out? I like a nice Thai meal. I love seafood, Italian and pizza. There's a lovely restaurant by the concert hall in town. Nice. Do you own a home and car? I own a home and car. And if the person that you're talking to online starts asking you questions like that, just think about who you're talking to. The scammer is fishing to see how much money you might have. Yes and no, said Denise. He sent three photographs of a car. That's my baby, he said. You own a home? Really? said Denise. I thought you lived in London. The reason she said that is because if you enlarge the first one and zoom in, you can see that it has a California number plate. You own a home, he asked. That's what yes means. He sent a load of photographs. I'll show them to you because I'm sure he got them all off the internet. One is a terraced house. I didn't actually find that, but it's probably somewhere in London. Then there's several interior photos, finishing with one of a gym, one of a kitchen, and this giveaway one, which says have a foot court apartments. That's a glimpse of how my home is in England, he said. I have a car here in San Francisco. How do you think I get around to save time? I'd have expected you to hire a car. I shipped it over, he tried. No, you didn't. That isn't an English car. I did. Changed the plates when I got here, Denise. You can see California on it. Well spotted, mate. And changed it from a right-hand drive to a left-hand drive. Yeah, right. I have two children and four grandchildren. I know when I'm being lied to. I don't have a reason to lie. Not everyone enjoys right-handed cars. Now tell me about those photos that are also lies. One is obviously a photo of a terraced house. And one clearly says it's an apartment. And the gym says it's a fitness centre. And they're about to get into one of those famous arguments that I sometimes get into. I'll cut it short for you, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I have two children and four grandchildren. I know when someone's lying to me. It's my fitness centre. Yeah, right. In the posh apartment that thinks it's a terraced house. Stop lying to me, please. Those photos were the exact photos I got when I wanted to buy the yard. Not how it's looking now. And ladies and gentlemen, if you Google Hanford Court Apartments, you get some apartments in Philadelphia. And you'll find most of those photos on here, including that one of the living room and on the right of the screen, that one of the kitchen. Anyway, we've agreed you treat others the way you want to be treated. So I'll just tell you ridiculous lies from now on. Stop concluding. You're not living with me. Even you must know the difference between a terraced house and a posh apartment with a gym. Why not? I bought it. You mean you can't tell the difference? Where is it? What? You mean in London? House? Car in California? OK. Do you remember asking me if I could use Google? Yes. Then try Googling Averford Court Apartments. The realtors, he said. I don't know what that means. Check it, he said. Try Googling Averford Court Apartments. 
Check what? I know already, he tried. OK, so why are you lying to me? He's my realtor from Philadelphia, owning homes in England as well. Just say you don't know. You told me those were photos of your home in London. Why did you lie to me? Yes! Why did you lie to me? I didn't. Yes, you did. You like arguing? You told me. Those were photos of your home in London. You like lying. Oh, God! Said our man. This is what you said. That's a glimpse of how my home is in England. You lied to me. Can't I buy a home from a realtor? Like I said, these are a glimpse of how my home looks. Yes, and you lied. You said that's your home in England. That was a lie. The more you lie, the more stupid you sound. OK, then, if you think so. I don't think so, I know. Read, he said. Yes, I read. It's your home in England. Those photos were the exact photos I got when I wanted to buy the yard, not how my house is now. In England. I made arrangements already. Where were those photos taken? Yes, he said. They were taken in England. Yes. Now I know 100% without a shadow of a doubt that you're lying. Please Google Hufferford Court Apartments. You'll find those photos. Then you can tell me why you're lying. You won't. You'll only see the sitting room. Oh, no, pal. I assume you live in a pokey little flat in Enfield and think those photos look impressive. And where is that sitting room and that gym? The gym is in my house. <laughs> he tried. And that kitchen. Oh, I realise you really are thick and stupid, obviously. Please Google have a for court apartments. And please don't make me ask you again. Or better still, call me and explain why you're lying. I already know. He's my realtor agent from Philadelphia. I assume you do know how to use Google, she asked. Of course. That's irrelevant rubbish, she said in reply to him saying he's my realtor agent from Philadelphia. You've repeatedly told me those photos were taken in London, in England. Yes, except the living room. Please Google have a cool apartments. I won't ask you again. You'll find the kitchen, the gym, the living room. And if you lie to me once more, I don't want to talk to you again. Truth is, I got two homes, he said. Liar. Truth is, you live in a pokey flat in Enfield and you're trying to sound impressive. Apartment in USA and my home in England. You failed. I bought from same realtor. Oh, no, you didn't, pal. We don't call them realtors in the UK. Then why did you lie and tell me those photos were taken in England? Do I have to ask that again? So he sent some more photos, adding underneath, England, if you say so. And he sent some more photos from those apartments. USA, he added underneath. Anyway, I know what kind of man you are now. A pathological liar. Really? Yes. One hundred percent, really. Well, you never knew me. And how many times did I ask? How many times did you repeatedly lie? I want an answer, please. How many times did I ask? How many times did you lie? He sent the same photos again of the apartment in the States. Denise repeated herself. I didn't lie. You were just not understanding me. Denise repeated herself. Chill, he said. You clearly and repeatedly assured me those photos were taken in London. I want an answer, please. How many times did I ask and how many times did you lie? I don't like men that lie, that are pathological liars. He sent the same set of photos of the house in London again. Yes, in England, he said. No, FGS, stop sending me the same bloody photos. You're just a pathological liar who refuses to apologise like a proper man. I bought my England home from Haverford. I said it multiple times, he said for the first time. You're just a pathological liar who refuses to apologise like a proper man. No, you didn't. You repeatedly assured me they were taken in London. You lied. And if you lie once more and refuse to apologise like a proper man, then I don't want anything more to do with you. I apologise for confusing you. For lying, said Denise. You lied. You repeatedly assured me they were taken in London. In England. Chill. Breeze, he said. This is your last chance. Apologise like a proper man or go away. And you have a count of ten to apologise properly for lying like a real man. And so she started one of those countdowns. Really? Countdown? She got to five. I apologise, he said in uppercase letters. I, of course, have been taking lessons from Lola. Say it ten times, please, so I know you mean it. Ten times. So he did. Good. Now, please assure me you won't lie again. 
he sent the same set of photos of the house in London. I won't lie, I actually own this, but I added the gym, kitchen and sitting room because I have a plan of making mine like that. So sorry. Oh, FGS, stop sending me the same bloody photos I saw them the first time. That's my actual house. Changed your mind again. Now you don't own the place in the US. That was a lie too. I rented it and wanted to impress you. So that was a lie too. What else have you lied about? Nothing. Just the apartment in the USA. I rented in USA, but owned in England. Damn. Truth is, I got two homes. Apartment in USA and my home in England. I bought from same realtor. Copied and pasted Denise. What else did you lie about? Yes, damn, I told you, I have two children, four grandchildren, I know when I'm being lied to. OK, sorry, apology accepted, I rented in USA, and owner in London. It might be, she said, in reply to him saying apology accepted, but you definitely told me you treat others the way you want to be treated, so I'll just become a pathological liar and tell you ridiculous fairy stories. I don't own both. I own only the one in England. I rented in USA. Yeah, you said. You'll have to work out for yourself from now on whether what I'm telling you is just pathological lies, treating you the way you say you want to be treated, or the truth, the way you don't want to be treated. That should be fun. I'd like to buy it, though. If I can't, I'll make my new home look like that. I'm a terrible liar. Yes, you are. And I've had enough of you for now. I'm going to make some tea and hang up my washing. OK, I'll explain something to you later. That was some ass whooping, he said. Oh, yes, man, she's had plenty of practice. The home in England is where my son is. But I want to buy one from the apartment agent sometimes. I haven't yet. I lied. Go make your tea. We'll talk. Just find somewhere in there to forgive my ass. I only wanted it so bad that I want to feel like I have it already. It's about $170,700. Do you feel a request for money coming on, ladies and gentlemen? I'll get it before 2024 runs out. But I don't have it now, so I technically lied. My home in England did cost me £605,000, minus renovations. I'm not a broke that you think I might be. I might run out of money sometimes, but I worked my ass up and I get what I want. He tried calling, but I wasn't online. Hi, he said a bit later. Excuse me, young man, said Denise in reply to his expletive language. Oh, well, young man, he said the next morning. Good morning. Morning, girl. How did last night go for you? I just watched the TV and did some knitting. How did it go for you? It's not morning yet here. It's almost 2 a.m. Oh, so you're having a late night. Yup, I keep your time in my head. Can I ring you? Yes. And so, he called her. Hello. Hello. Why are you up so late? Mm, I don't have a reason, but um, I just can't sleep. Oh, dear. Yeah, I can't. What's that weird noise I can hear? What noise? I can hear like beep, beep, beep. Oh. Oh, that's better. I'll, I'll call you back, because do you know where I'm calling you from? The bathroom. Oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay? <laughs> Hello again. Yeah, can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, that's better. Yeah, I, went, I took you to the bathroom. I went to pee. And you're still sniffing. That's very rude, isn't it? Uh, sorry about that. I didn't know. Yeah, me too. So, why so are you, you told me you... Huh? Go, go on. What were you going to say? No, I said you told me you were knitting. What do you uh, uh, knit? Do you knit some um, mat or blanket or what is that? I was knitting a jumper. Oh, a jumper. A whole jumper. That's going to take time. Sorry, say that again. I didn't really hear what you said. 
I said that was going to take some time. Oh, yeah, it'll take me several weeks because I don't usually... Well, I don't usually knit in the evenings because I can't really see what I'm doing. Yeah. I might give so, it a so when I've finished it. I'm not sure. Okay. So how do you how do you reach out to them? You call them on the telephone. What do you mean? How do I reach out to them? I don't know what you mean. I mean your children, if you want to call them. Well, I call them on Facebook. I call them on use the telephone. All sorts of things. I mean, there's lots of ways these days, aren't there? Oh, nice. Benji sometimes calls me on, I don't know what it's called, um, something on here, something on the iPad, I don't know what it's called. Okay. So, um, have you forgotten me about yesterday for you? Have I forgotten that you lied to me? What do you think? <laughs> well, I apologise, right? Yeah, you said. I did. But you were getting it all wrong, you know that? I wasn't getting you wrong, you were lying to me and stop lying. If you start telling me I was wrong, you then you're lying again because you know perfectly well you lied to me. You repeatedly told me those photographs were taken in London, repeatedly, several times. You told me they were taken in London and even I can yeah, use Google. My home was taken in London and the apartment that I rented, I want to buy it, so... I feel like I just wanted to tell you that I had it and stuff like that. But I well, never had it. It was only rented. Why do you want an apartment in Philadelphia? No, when I first came in the USA, I still I stayed in Philadelphia. You understand? I stayed there. So I had photos of it in my phone already. And when I wanted to send you my home in London, I had to, you know, I, I added it in there. And was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't so want to buy a home in in the US? No, I want to buy. I want to buy. So why do you want to buy because... an apartment in Philadelphia? Why? Because I feel like mm, there are other things that take me to the USA. You understand? I don't have a resident over there. Right. Right now, right now, I'm in a condo. Understand where? So you see, I just got my own chambers here, but I want somewhere I can like reside for months, something like that. You understand me? So that's yeah. But why here. Philadelphia? You're I'm in California, aren't you? Yeah, I'm in California. This is where I have work. That is where I actually stayed. You understand? That was where I actually stayed when I first came in the USA. So you get it? That same apartment I showed you. <sighs> so you want to you want to buy somewhere in Philadelphia? I don't understand, but never mind. Okay, don't I have the freedom to buy? I want to buy. Yeah, I want to buy it. I can have it and put it on rent. You understand? And earn some bucks from it. Well, that's true. Yeah. So, yeah, I have some plans that I think maybe we use no shutter to spill it, you understand? No, I couldn't I really hear what you said there, you are a bit quiet. Yeah, I said I have some plans, and we've known for about a week now, so there are little things in my mind that I want to do, man. All right, look. I'm, getting, I'm already getting acquainted to you, you know that? Well, yeah. And I've certainly learned a lot about you. Like what? Well, that you tell that your default setting is telling lies. Come on, man. I always treat him like that. I'm not like that. Well, you've got a lot of. You, you, so far, you've you proved that you are like that. But, you know, I live wait. in hope that things might change. Have you. Have you. Wanted, have you wanted something that. You already feel like you have it. What well, I lied about it, you mean? No. Okay, yeah, I want it so bad. That's what I meant. Yeah, well, you could have just said that, couldn't you? 
You are 65, not 16. <laughs> Do you have to tell me that? Well, you know, obviously you need reminding. Well, okay, if you say so. You haven't even told me your favorite things to do. I want to know them. I haven't told you what? Your favorite things to do. Well, like your hobbies. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. I told you I like international stitch counting and underwater yoga chairlifting and knitting, obviously. Yeah, okay, okay. You don't have more... Well, what do you mean more? You think I should have a whole list? Like I like walking on the beach and I like, you know, I don't know. We haven't got a beach anywhere near Guildford. And you don't walk on the beach? But we haven't got one. Oh, you don't have one over there where you at? No, I've just said we haven't got one in Guildford. My daughter lives near the sea. She lives in Brighton. Oh, okay. She's away in Brighton. Sorry, say that again. I said she's over in Brighton. Yeah, that's what I just said. She lives in Brighton. All right. So not only do I have to say everything six times, you have to repeat everything. Is that right? Oh, I'm, my. I'm, I'm, remember, I'm old. <laughs> yeah, obviously. I thought I'm not that young man. I'm a vibrant man or energetic man that I used to be, but I still have it. It's yeah. still in there. Yeah, well, that's good. So do you spend a lot of time in working in the US? Definitely. Because uh, my dad uh, had a lot of partners and he had a lot of engineers that he worked with. And when I was brought to the US by him, we stayed in Philadelphia for about three years. So, um, we left there, he took me to other tutors after I had my career and stuff and graduated and stuff. I'm talking about after graduating and stuff. I came here with him and he introduced me to a lot of people. That's how I had the connections I have to date instead from my dad and, and that's why I could trust them because he's, he's worked with them. And me being in the United States, I've been in here, in and out. So I'm quite acquainted, or oh, I'm quite used to California, Washington, D.C., New York, Philadelphia, and uh, Maine. Those are your five states that I'm used to in the United States. But other ones, I just go visit and leave, visit and leave. Or when I have a short contract, I might have a week old contract or two weeks duration of contract. I just do them, I leave. You get it? So, yeah. All oh, right, I'm surprised it's worth going all that way just for a two week contract. Yeah, I do. I don't, if Especially when I'm needed, like personally. Because there, there was a job, there was once a job I did, or there was once a job I was employed for, I had to send somebody, and the person could do it the way I do it, you understand? And I was, um, should I say, um, what was the word? I was shouted at, yeah, I'm going to lose that word, I was shouted at, I was abused, I was... Just insulted that I didn't do the job well, and since then, and I don't send people to replace me. When they need me, I go by myself and do it by myself. All right. Yeah, yeah, because don't they have electricians uh, was, in the states then? Huh? I said, don't they have electricians in the states? I don't know. They have a lot. Uh, thousands, probably millions, but if they call for me, they call for me. You get it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I told you my dad had connections there. He lived more in the United States than being in England, my dad. You understand? All right. So, yeah. 
What, why did he live in the States? What state? I said, why did he live in the States? Why? His mom's from there. Right, and where was his dad from? England, definitely. Right, because I'm sure you told me your dad was from Germany. No, my mom. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, my mom is from Frankfurt. Oh, I've well, misremembered it then. It must have been your mum. Uh, my mom, you want to know about her? Oh, go on then. Well, I didn't spend a lot of time with my mom because um, she passed on when it's sad to say, but during my childbirth, like me, my childbirth, yeah, I was told that she passed on. She didn't have, you know, she lost a lot of blood and she went out. And I'm still feeling guilty for it to today. But I'm gonna let it slide. It's not so, you mean like you, so you mean you never met your mum? Exactly, I only seen her in photos. Sorry, say that again. I only seen her in photos. All right, okay. So I always live with that regret that I killed my mom. And I, it's not nice. It's not a nice feeling, even now I'm saying it. Is Stop it my sniffing, fault? Man. I think it's my fault. Every time you sniff, I have to edit it out of the video. It's very tedious. <laughs> it's a sad moment for me to, like, picture. Yeah, well, it's very sad when you don't know one of your own parents. Exactly. So it's weird because... I want I, I want to speak with her today. I learned a lot of stuff. I never had that mom care. You know, I was never, I never sucked up boobs. I never, you understand? Never had that mom care and stuff. So, um, I, my dad's mom, that's my paternal uh, uh, grandma. She was the one that took care of me when I, with what I was told till I got to uh, five and she left but now she's gone All right. as well yeah That's well she me. would be gone I, I expect your father's gone as well hasn't he huh <laughs> I said I expect your father's passed away as well hasn't he my dad what I expect your dad's passed away as well. Oh, yeah, he did. Not quite long. That was tw 2010 he, he passed on. Yeah. September 23rd, 2010. Yeah. I can't forget. So that was about 14 years ago? Wow. Yeah, it was, wasn't Seems it? like yesterday. Yeah, it's amazing how fast time flies, isn't it? So fast. So fast. So how about your how about your uh, your mom, where is she from? My mum. She was from Guildford. Yeah, she's from she's England. She's been dead for years. Oh, she's from Guildford as well. Yeah, so was my dad. Oh I see. They've been dead for years, years and years. Bo both of them. It, yeah, that's what they've been dead means. <laughs> I know. I'm 75. If my mum was still alive, she'd be uh, 102, I think, and my dad would be 107. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, thinking about it alone is... Yeah, Although some that. people are. I mean, there are people that live to be a hundred, aren't there? There are. But as for me, I think um, I have a very, very big um, 
if you like a task ahead or objective. I have a very big objective right now. And oh, well, what's um, that? Was that? Yeah. It, it, it is having a partner. Or should I say, spending the remaining chapter of my life with somebody special. Yeah, All right. Before I, yeah, before I go. Because I feel like I'm missing something. I'm missing a, a part of me. I want to share, I've shared a long time alone. And you haven't even asked me what happened to my, my ex-wife. She was, yeah, she, she's deceased. So she's gone. She's late. Yeah. You haven't asked me what happened to my husband, Arthur. So there you go. No, I haven't. What happened? He oh, died. He died of cancer. Sorry? She died of cancer. Well, I'll be. No, he had a heart attack. Heart attack. That's typical. Were you there? Yeah, it was six years ago now. Six years ago? Not quite long. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Thank you. But I know you've moved on from there, right? Well, I've got a very nice family, as you know. I'm a very lucky lady. Great. And my um, wife, she passed on. Um, just, that was 2014, so 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, wasn't nice, wasn't a nice feeling losing who you once loved and so I'm thinking if she was in my whole time soulmate I think there was somebody out there that um, can be that oh that is that so meeting you meeting you was something I never predicted you know that well, well, sorry, say that again. I said meeting meeting you was something I didn't predict. It, All right. Do happened. please stop yeah. sniffing. It's so tedious having to edit it out. No, it's okay. Sorry, 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 and sorry. Okay. Yeah. So when do you think you're going to be coming back to England? Um, I told you. I can't leave my team. If I could, I would, and I'll come see you. And that isn't the something. question I asked you. I said, when do you think you're coming back to England? I already told you. I said August. All oh, right. I'm sorry, but I forgot what ago. you said. Well, when you come back, you'll have to come to Guildford and um, call in for tea or something. Or well, I'll meet you for lunch. We'll go to that nice Thai restaurant in town. Okay, oh, it will be a good time with you, you know, that I haven't seen you, like, the whole of you. I only see your face on Facebook. Yeah, that's the photograph Benji put on Facebook. Yeah, and definitely you have a pretty smile, you know that? That's very kind of you, thank you very much. Yeah, it got attra I got attracted to you and I couldn't hesitate texting you and yeah, here we are. Hey, Dad, I'm, loving yeah. it. I'm loving it because, you know why? You bring the best out of me. Yeah, I can say that for sure. All right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to have to go because there's some washing in my machine and it's like an air, it's just about to finish. Okay. Take it easy, okay? I'll be here. You can text me when you're back. Yeah, okay then. All right, bye. Bye for now. Bye for now, yeah. You could at least sound interesting and interested and sound as if you're half awake. <laughs>
Anyway, you obviously um, need to go to bed, so good night. Exactly, you know that. How do you know that? Are you right here with me? Like, Well, you did tell me it was 2am, didn't you? Yeah. Sounds like bedtime to me. Exactly, so. Yeah. But it's, it's nice talking with you. Yeah, if you say so. You don't sound like it is, but I'm sure it is. Anyway, you need to go it to bed. Is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, goodbye Take for now. Our dopey man went off for that usual scammer obsession, a good sleep. To find out what happened next, you're going to have to listen to episode four. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like it, please share it, please comment down below, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again in Marcus Bayer, episode four.